हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू मैड लियाज न्यू वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सेप्ट माई सिंसियर एपोलॉजीज फॉर नॉट क्रिएटिंग न्यू परसेप्ट ऑन सो लॉन्ग आई वॉज बिजी इन माई एग्जाम एंड एग्जाम्स आर फाइनली ओवर सो इट वॉन्ट हैपन अगेन इन दिस ब्रेक स्पैन वी हैव इंक्रीज अवर मैड लिया फैमिली सो थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द मैड लियाज फैमिली एंड वन मोर थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू ऑल्सो स्प्रेड अ लाइट ऑन दैट द व्यूअर्स which are watching our video are 98% such that they are not subscriber so consider yourselves to subscribe our channel okay so without wasting so much time let's move towards our today's perceptron today we are going to build a universal gate perceptron so do you know what are the universal gate or uh, what is a basic gate universal gate and special purpose gate as we already covered a basic gate now we are moving to the universal gate and if you know about what are the universal gate and special purpose gate then you can comment down below so that others can also understand so today we are going to build a nand gate perceptron with the help of python so what is nand gate nand gate is a combination of and gate and not gate so we can consider as nand gate is a the output of and gate is fit to the not gate just like that and gate plus not gate so the truth table for nand gate so for the truth table for the nand gate uh, we get 0 0 then 0 1 1 1 0 and finally 1 1 the basic logic behind the nand gate is that if we have any one input as a zero then output will automatically become as a one why this happen because if we get any one input as a zero then and gate output is automatically zero this is the basic logic of the and gate and as we are inverting the and gate input or the output we get the for 10 it is automatically become nand as a 1 so now you can see that nand gate is a combination of and gate and the not gate we are just inverting the output of the and gate uh take a minute or pause the video and understand just to to table so let's move forward and understand visually how this is happening so here we have a as a one input this one b as another input we are feeding this input with the help of w0 and w1 weights to the and gate perceptron uh, if you want to understand the and gate perceptron properly then you can go and check the video of the and gate perceptron with the help of python i am going to give all the links in the description and also you can check it from the uh, our official channel page there is no issue Uh, then our AND gate output is fed to the NOT gate uh, perceptron. So you can see that all the output of the AND gate are just inverted because of the NOT gate perceptron. We have also covered the NOT gate perceptron in our channel, so you can check that one also. So now let's move towards our coding part. So from AND gate perceptron and uh, NOT gate perceptron. we are going to import this two files that is the and gate perceptron and not gate perceptron uh, if you want to look we have already uh, developed these two files right and gate perceptron you can see that we have previously built this file and i am going to use the same file for the nand gate because in this video what we are going to do is creating a nand gate with the help of and gate and not gate and in the next video i am going to tell you later what we are going to do in next video and here is the not get file so you can see that the same code is i'm going to use i'm just now importing a and get perceptron that is this one is the file and get perceptron.py and importing this file uh, and from this file i required a perceptron so you can see that if you check here inside the and get we have perceptron name function which also call the activation function this is all the later part which is already discussed so let's focus on the core part only here so i'm going to call this perceptron function and going to feed the and gate inputs or just a basic inputs these two and it is going to return me the exact result of the and gate because of the activation function and this result i'm going to feed to the not gate so now we required a not gate but before that i would like to analyze this as a means uh, all the file i have called or imported as a and so that in future we can easily understand what is happening and let's import uh, in a similar way that a not get perceptron analyzing as a not and if you check that if 
we control click this function then it is automatically redirect to the proper file of the perceptron means the perceptron function of the proper file so now let's run this program what is going to happen to check what is happening so you can see that it is calling both the functions automatically let's i will clear the terminal and then run it again so now you can first see that in our program there is nothing print or like that but whenever we run our program it is printing so much stuff why this is because we are importing the file here and uh, aliasing it due to which it is going to run all the program here and at the end we have put that print something and call the same function perceptron due to which it is going to print all the thing so let's get read from this i'm going to delete this one and uh, similarly for the and get also let's delete the end part and let's check what is going to print now let's clear the terminal and rerun the program so now you can see that it is nothing is printing here so that's it we have successfully imported our files and the functions now uh, but why we trust this let's check it how it is going to work so let's first take input as one one and let's call the uh, and get output that is the input just here printing it is going to print and uh, what function we need to put here so to understand the or to activate or to use the and function from the and get perceptron file so simply we need to call the and because we have already aliasing it with the help uh, by, uh, to the perceptron of and get perceptron and just let's pass the input now i am going to save this file and uh, simply run this file so now you can see that it is training the all pers uh, it is training the perceptron perceptron training started for the 0,0, 0 input then 0, 0,1 input and uh, 0, 0,1 input is not satisfied uh, means actual and predicted uh, i have already discussed it just giving a brief or the just quick overview then uh, as it is not satisfied it is going to update the weights and up, uh, after that it is uh, again started to check the updated weights from the 0, 0, because we need to check all the weights and at the end it finally get its weight as one point or uh, not right now again weights are updated and it is updated weights are finally 0, 0.9 uh, 0 0.9 to 0 0.9 because i have set a learning rate to small at the previous video let's change the learning rate to something 0 0.3 and now let's try running this program So now you can check that the weights are 0 0.7 and 0 0.89 something. So finally our AND gate output is for the 1 comma 1, it's 1. So similarly let's check for the NOT gate and I'm going to pass the for the NOT gate input as a 1 and rerun the program. So now it is first going to run the AND gate logic. Uh, let's print here that AND gate perceptron is training so that it is better to understand and here uh, I guess I mistakenly print nor or sorry or let's print at not and this then again save the program and rerun the program by deleting the terminal because we don't need the previous output so now you can see that and get perceptron is trained here and after that somewhere here not get perceptron is also started training and the not get output is zero now so now let's go for the NAND gate so NAND gate output here we are passing the input to just print so now it is just simply print like that NAND gate output for 1 comma 1 and let's call the function but the exact question is what we are going to pass here because uh, if you see that uh, I would like to tell you one logic that this is the AND gate right and we are going to pass the input for the AND gate here and the input and the output of the AND gate let's assume that it is a result but we want to send this result to the NOT gate right and the whatever the output of the NOT gate is nothing but our NAND gate so instead of creating do this two different function we can directly create a function like that na? so NAND gate is equal to first the AND gate input and 
output of this NAND gate is feed to the NOT gate here, right? So it is going to combinedly give the output that is directly NAND gate. So this is my logic. Let's check whether this logic is going to work or not. Okay, so let's delete it, save the program and let's come here. So first of all, we are going to pass the AND gate input and the output is feed to the NOT gate, right? Let's check whether it is working or not. So we get NAND gate output for 1 comma 1 is 0. Yes, that's exactly correct. Let's check by changing some values and again it is correct because NAND gate output for 1 comma 0 is obviously 1. So what is happening here? So to understand properly, first of all, I will get rid of this two because we don't need because we are just writing this two for the testing purpose, but I'm not deleting anything because I'm going to share the source code with you. So you can just uncomment these lines and check what is happening. So let's now run the program. First of all, delete and then run. Now you can understand that first the AND get perceptron is training then the it is updated its weights whatever the logic is applied and after that after success uh, successful uh, prediction and the actual output matching it is going to run the not get perceptron and uh, it is going to again update the weights whatever the required function for the activation and the perceptron function summation it is going to apply uh, inside this uh, and get perceptron file and not get perceptron file and after that it is ready to train so whatever the output is, uh, whatever the input is feeded here, it is going to give us a proper output. So it's too much printing statements. Let's get rid of it. I'm just uh, commenting all these statements in a quick second. So I have just commented all the statements which is not required here. You can see that just commented out. So if you want to debug this program, so you can just uncomment it, no issue. Now let's run this program. So now you can see that first the AND gate perceptron is trained, then NOT gate perceptron is trained, and finally we get a NAND gate output. So now you can see that our logic is perfectly fine. First it is going to run the AND gate and whatever the output of the AND gate or the return from the AND gate is feed to the NOT gate and whatever the feed uh, output from the NOT gate is just printed here. So you can see that. So this is all for this NAND gate perceptron with the help of AND gate and NOT gate. So in next video, what we are going to do uh, that we are going to develop a NAND gate from a scratch just like this with the help of perceptron. With the help of perceptron function, then uh, with the help of the summation function here and passing this to the activation function. Uh, just give me a second bear with me perceptron and here's the activation function passing this summation to the activation function just like that we are going to build a NAND gate perceptron so if you are interested in that video then consider yourself as a subscriber of this channel and then if you have any doubts you can comment down below uh, I will respond it as quickly as possible and one more thing I would like to tell that uh, many of you are asking for the source code so I have yesterday already done a community post and also I would like to mention in this video too. So here is the community post which I have done yesterday uh, MATLAB with GitHub. So I have already share I'm already sharing all the source code with the help of GitHub from long ago. Uh, I will like to show you that on the GitHub only. So here are the two rings the uh, GitHub actually uh, GitHub official link and then perceptron link and also I have put it in the about section you can go from here and it is going to open so inside the perceptron you will get this too uh, if you check that I have already means maintained it from you can see that from the 5 November like that so you can check all the codes here and how to check you can go to the digital electronics inside the logic gates and here all the codes are uploaded the today's video the today's video source code also updated here there is no issue uh, you don't have to search the file here just came to the readme file or click on the readme file directly uh, 
and you can see that I am already creating or sorting all the index. So what you require not get so just come here and not get source code or watch it on the YouTube. Uh, it will redirect you to the YouTube page. Uh, here is the AND gate OR gate. Uh, I have also uploaded an AND gate quick understanding logic. So here are two videos. So that's it from the my side. If you are interested, you can subscribe. And if you have any suggestion to build any kind of perceptron in the digital electronics or any other part, then you can comment down below. I am planning to create a critical uh, digital circuits with the help of perceptron in the Python. So that is our goal. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet in the next video.